Hey y'all. So I'm up here doing my my Bible study for today, actually for the whole weekend because I just needed rest. So um I'm up here doing day five, six, and seven. Today is January the seventh, so I'm catching up. And I'm in Job. Job is such a character. He is such um an expressive person. Job expresses his emotions of what he feels and what he want to know. He questions God. He's angry. He want to know why all these things happen. Why is God constantly testing us whether we are doing good or we are doing evil? Job is like, it don't matter if I do good or evil. You still going to test me. You still going to bother me. Why don't you just leave me alone? He is such a character. Um, I notice, you know, I can resonate with the, the anxiety. I can resonate with the de uh, depression and all these things that he has gained mentally from his trials and tribulations of the things that he have went through. But I was just sitting here and he said in verse 13, chapter 14, Job chapter 14, verse 13, he said, I wish you would hide me in the grave. And forget me there until your anger has passed. And when I read that, I just smiled. Because he feels like when you're doing good in the world, like you you giving your life back to Christ, like I'm giving my life, I gave my life back to Christ. I want to live righteous, you know. Um, I've been isolated from the world. And family, friends, been going through abuse and all this stuff in my marriage. But I'm here. And I feel better. God will remove these things from you. Amen. God will remove these things from you. Okay. Job chapter 8 verse 11. I cannot keep from speaking. I must express my anguish. My bitter soul must complain. God already knew we was going to complain. He know we are we have complaining spirits because even when we talk about things it's talk about our emotions and things out loud it's still a, a form of complaining because God said submit to him bring all your worries to him and pray. But even if you don't do it in that order and you still pray but you still complain God already knew that. He already knew that. You can go back and read uh, Job starting from chapter 1 all the way through Job's first test, second test, Job first speech, Job three friends share his anguish. Job even complained to his friends and his friends were ministering him and talking to him, you know, letting him know things. It's something else that I wanted to share, but God, if I can't find it and get to it, then that means you don't want me to reveal it, and I'm okay with that. And Job, Job is talking about suffering, righteousness, and complexity of understanding God's way of testing you every moment of the day. God is saying to acknowledge him and his wisdom and his power. Learn to seek God's favor and obedience in the mighty name of jesus we will be going through things things will get better and you will know god said there was a little he gave you a little and you're complaining about the little that he took away just know that that little he took away he is going to replenish and give you much meaning much more than what you had before so we be stuck on the little things that we have. And God said, oh, that's just that's not even the half that I'm going to bless you with. You're still focused on the little things of what you used to have. God said, don't worry about that. That is over and done with them houses you used to have. That is over and done with them cars you used to have. That is over and done with them relationships you used to be in. That is over and done with that marriage you no longer in. That is over and done with. God said, I will give it and I will take it and I will restore it 
with more if you acknowledge that I'm God and be obedient to his word and know that that little was temporary. That little was to test you. That little was to see was you going to keep the faith with the little seeds that you had. So when he give you the bigger seeds, when he say, I'm going to give you much, I'm going to give you much more. He wants to know, are you going to be ready to handle how much he's going to give you? Can I get an amen? Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. But I challenge y'all to read Job. Job is a character and he, I can see he is a complainer. He is a complainer. But if you went through so many things as Job did, you will complain and question to a lot of people be saying, oh, you don't supposed to question God. Some say you do, some say you don't. God already knew you was going to question and ask questions about whatever you went through before you even went through. If you read your Bible, a lot of us be stuck on what people did in the past or how they were brought up and what they did. But if you get into the word and read the Bible on your own, you will already know that God. God knew you was going to be a complainer. God knew that you was going to open your mouth and talk up, talk about things. God already knew this. He already know. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Mm. I was about to say something. I had to hold, I had to hold it down over here. I got, I got my stuff. What I wrote down as I was reading in my Bible journal. So I'm Bible journaling. Tapping back in my Bible journal. I love it. So as I was reading Job, Job was having a nervous breakdown. That's what I noticed. Job was having a nervous breakdown. How do I know Job was having a nervous breakdown? Because I too have been there and I know what a nervous breakdown feels like. Job began to question God in righteousness or wickedness on earth. Remember I told you he said, it doesn't matter if I'm good or if I'm wicked. You still going to bother me. God ain't going to never leave you alone. A lot of people be feeling like they're alone, but they're not alone because God is always there with you. God is always testing you. God is always trying to push you forward to get you to do and fulfill the purpose of what you're supposed to do. If he don't push you forward, if he don't bring trials and tribulations into your life, you will be stuck in the little. And God know, he already know, hey, I got more for her. I got better for her. But she just don't know it because she's so stuck on this little. But I'm going to push her a little bit more. I'm going to push her harder than I ever pushed her before. I'm going to bring something in her life that is only going to be temporary. And see how is she going to handle that. See, can she pass the test of that? See, can she continue to go on and do what I need her to do with the little things that he have gained and have taken away if you can't handle the little things that he have gained you and taken away how can you receive the much more with that being said like comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload another video and this is your girl minister crystal signing out and i'll see you guys later peace shalom